it was hard it is still hard it's still going to be super hard that's what the whole youtube journey is going to be about for you guys and what is the thing means starting from the scratch and our scratch was super duper deep down there <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to our channel. For those who are new to this channel, my name is Jacob. And my name is Gwen. And welcome to Filipina Checking. It's been a year since Cuba created our YouTube channel, but still, we are still considering ourselves as a beginner. Every day, Jacob is learning, <laughs> except me. But I'm also trying my best to learn some sometimes from how YouTube works, though sometimes I'm still confused on it. So this time, we would like to share to you guys how our YouTube journey went. We are going to discuss you everything what we've been through, the progress, the mistakes, the failures we experiences, and the learnings we experience as time goes by that we are on a process of making our YouTube channel. And that's what the whole video is going to be about, about our YouTube journey. And the first thing what I want to talk about is the reason why I started that whole YouTube channel and the reason is sitting right next to me. <coughs> that time when I met Gwen, I was really not that kind of person who was interested in social media, into making videos, any of those. I was more like disgusted and shy about those and I've never thought about myself I will ever start. But then I met Gwen. Because actually I was you who taught you those things to, to love social media, right? That's true. <laughs> Gwen made me love those things and that's why I started. I pursued it. I pursued. I pursued those. Pursued. Pursued those. <laughs> <laughs> it was because of that Gwen that time was using already Instagram, TikTok and making her kind of videos. I told myself I will never like download TikTok app but then after I met Gwen I was forced to use those. <laughs> yeah, but thanks agree. to that force you were able to um, get yourself entangled in social media life. That's correct. Especially YouTube. That's correct. And there came one casual day like any other else, but what Jacob did, Jacob decided to make a YouTube channel, make a first video. That time we were still not together with Gwen, we were still in the long distance relationship, but I was like, decided to make any kind of video what I wanted. So how was the first content? Horrible. <laughs> And it's still horrible up until now, but with so many improvements. Yes, I would agree as well. And that time we did not have any like cameras, special gadgets, like any good performance, like equipment. That time I still got my old iPhone and old laptop. The old laptop is not anymore between us. Yeah. But the iPhone is still. Yeah. And it's still using it up until now actually, but not on YouTube. But he got iPhone SE. It was also me who influenced Kubo to buy iPhone. <laughs> but how it all started? The first videos I was doing were taken on the iPhone SE 2020. The videos were like not really bad. I quite like the video quality, the lens. Quality of the video is like HD from an iPhone SE. The sound was quite horrible. For me as a beginner it was like quite a good opportunity how to learn of taking videos and everything about it. So that was all my start about making YouTube videos. Uh, from that time you started making video on YouTube and especially using iPhone so how was it like how was your feeling that time? Did you feel like you were it was really challenging for you? It was very difficult for you because imagine you don't know anything about YouTube and how is it going, especially the first time you edited your video? <laughs> well, this first time I was really enjoying every moment of that like whole making the YouTube video since the recording of the video, editing, making it better, making the sound better, mm -hmm. coloring, everything. I was very excited. I spent hours on those videos and the results were horrible. 
<laughs> let's tell you. Time went by and I started thinking about making better and better videos. What I was not really satisfied about the videos from iPhone SA was the stabilization of the recorded videos. Like it was really shaky videos because I really that time was making videos just like holding the phone right in front of me making videos of myself mm -hmm. or others and it was like very shaky footage so that time i purchased a robot a robot <laughs> <laughs> that time i purchased the dgy kimball which i was sure will help me with all those process making better videos is it still working <laughs> is it still working i wonder if it's been a long time we haven't used it let's see how it's still working But we can still use it actually outside, right? Yes. Yeah. Nicole bought this that he was really making video and like because it works like it's just moving by itself, especially if it like um, recognize your face and whenever you are and whenever like you're going somewhere and you recognize your face and it moves as well, the camera with with, with it itself. And Kubo was like making video by himself. <laughs> he looks very happy that time. Like I was like the children who just came <laughs> into the candy store. <laughs> What really made it better? Once you are having the camera which has no stabilization, this will really solve your problems with all those shaking and bumping. Even you are walking or you are running, the footage or the video is still going like the smooth. Everything is going to be smooth. For the viewers, it's much more comfortable to look at that kind yeah. of video, even when it's like a shaking video. And it's really easy actually to use. And it was also a good start for Kuba that he was able to buy another gadget to make the YouTube a video improved. It's like little by little, the very innocent baby is growing slowly, going to a next level, step by step, like slowly. And it was the second time that he had this gadget from iPhone. And after all those happened one of the most amazing things both of us were waiting for which also affected our YouTube channel because that time Gwen came here to the Czech Republic we started living together everything was amazing right but with that Gwen came here with her iPhone 11 <laughs> I was not waiting for Gwen I was waiting for that iPhone 11 by the way Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So harsh. So I came here that time and Kuo was very happy that finally there's another device that we can use for our YouTube and a better quality as well for the YouTube videos rather than using the iPhone is SE. But that time as well our YouTube was still like a baby, like just a baby just just got born, but because that time we only had 20 viewer, I mean 20 subscribers that time and whenever Kuba uploaded some videos but he only got maybe up to 50 viewers that time as well that was amazing results <laughs> like what's actually better thing about the iphone and iphone 11 in comparison with the iphone sa i have is that the video quality itself is much more better and also the size of the lens iphone 11 already supports the wide lens the video footage looks much more better with those wide lens than those thin lens which are supported by the iPhone SA. Also you can make the changes with the FPS and also the quality of the video going from HD up to... We had my iPhone 11 that we started also make making our YouTube videos like every week. Am I correct? If we started having it every week. Um, compared that time and I was not here yet. I can say that our YouTube channel started growing when I was here. <laughs> We started taking our YouTube channel seriously after Gwen came here to the Czech Republic. Before, when I was just here alone, making videos by myself, I was not consistent. I just made some videos once in two months and that was all. And I was waiting for that success and improvements. Nothing was coming. The reality of that YouTube success is all around the YouTube, all those people who are teaching us and mentoring us about how to be successful on YouTube are still mentioning one and the same thing. You have to be consistent, still learning the new things, still learning the new techniques. 
every video you are trying to improve, make some better music or the footage of the coloring, anything, still improving the process we are making. That's what we started doing that time like last spring. Yeah. I think because of those tips as well on YouTube, I would say that YouTube channel right now we have is really growing and improving compared to last year. And it's because also Kuba is teaching himself every day. That's also one of, one of the reasons why we can see a lot of changes right now. Um, our YouTube channel is slowly growing and also with your support guys for us. Time passed by as well that we decided to what about your get we get, we're going to buy another another gadget instead of using this iPhone 11. So At that time I was thinking I want to have like some kind of camera very resistant to like water, to the dust or to the making videos outside which can anything happen the camera will be still fine so we were choosing out of the outdoor cameras and we decided we will get the gopro 9 gopro hero 9 and that was our another member to our youtube channel family yeah and we are glad we bought that because a couple of weeks after we purchased the gopro we were going to the greece for vacation and having the gopro with us made all the scenes on all the footage all the videos much more better than we could ever take with an iphone um, because gwen did not allow me to use it under the wall but my iphone is also waterproof actually <laughs> but still did not i'm really allowed. scared still if you're gonna use it underwater if he's still alive that the water in greece is clear and crystal so it's also very nice for you to see the scenes outside like underwater so it was also a very good decision. Up until now, we are still using our GoPro and it is also one of the most important gadgets we ever had for our YouTube channel. Our whole setup, we were using that time looked like this, like the GoPro with a simple tripod and that was all. And that's what we were thinking is the perfectly enough. We were thinking we have more than enough and then we don't need anything else. But then when you are starting to improving your videos, you are going to find out that it's missing something and you need something more and you need yeah. something better so and we started getting the other things yeah. gwen made the purchase the tripod. very good purchase we purchased the better tripod with much more longer extensions with allowance to changing the angles of the video and then we moved forward in our videos yeah. a lot but before before that baby if if i would ask a question about how was it using an iphone was it better to use the gopro or iphone one of the biggest advantages about the gopro is that once you are shooting on gopro you have both screens you have rear screen and the front screen which allows you to see yourself even if you are shooting video of yourself if you are making selfie videos but once you are shooting videos on the rear camera of iphone you have really no idea if you are the whole face is on the screen that was one of the disadvantages taking selfie videos on iphone you already can't see yourself so it's very uncomfortable honestly personally it's very uncomfortable for me rather than this gopro i can just see myself properly here while i'm talking so it's really nice i would say the another thing we got was because our gopro was like feeling cold so we decided we will buy a socks or a sleeve or a jacket for our GoPro. <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm ill, that's why I'm coughing. She's ill. Ugh. I'm coughing here next to me, making me sick as well. <coughs> What's the reason of all those sleeves and gadgets we were buying? That foamy sleeve you can see right here on the screen. Um, it was also a very good idea for us because we noticed after we made our videos the are background noises. So the sleeves are very, very useful as well to erase those background noises and make make the the sound um, clearly in our um, videos. That's also one of the advantages of buying this one as well. And one last thing with what we wanted to improve our videos was the light. The light we added on our GoPro because the one of the disadvantages of the gopro once the sun goes down just a little the quality of the videos is like really horrible yeah we were limited by the sunlight of making our video that's the range of the time of 5 pm that we can make videos after 5 pm the video quality will be horrible so that's why we bought this light which we can attach to the gopro with this holder and 
even now when it's 7 p.m. The, there is total dark outside we can still make as we did we can still make videos and the most important the you quality. can see us yeah the quality is also very nice it's, our, it's actually our second time making our video with this lightning so it's i would say this is one of the best purchase we ever had those things what you just heard are those things which are happening for making the videos for recording the videos and what comes after those is like the thing about editing the videos like for editing the videos at the first i had my old laptop it was like very low performance like about eight gigabytes of ram memory no ssd disk it was hdd disk so it was very slow i was having very hard times i was getting angry that the timeline is like very laggy so we also decided to purchase like a better laptop and actually our kind of laptop is one and only kind in the world because our laptop is actually macbook asus at once <laughs> something like those exist of course i made it it's my own invention like i merged asus and macbook performance <laughs> together and you can see it right now <laughs> All that thing is just about adding a little Apple sticker on a <laughs> MacBook and you will get all that MacBook performance into your mm, laptop. That's quite unique. Yeah, I am. Which really improved the process of editing and making the videos. The view of timeline is like very smooth. It's thanks to that like 16 gigabytes of RAM, yeah. SSD disk, like better graphic card everything works better and smoother and faster yeah. i don't have to spend for example four hours editing the video on the old laptop but nowadays it will only take me like two or three hours depends how many things i want to add or make better yeah because i i remember that time when the first as well like when kuba was still a beginner and it took him like two to three days to edit the video but now it's really surprising for me because he improved a lot like when we make video right now and it takes him like maybe four hours to finish it like oh, are you done are you insane you're done you're insane that's very surprising you're immortal <laughs> in the beginning when i was talking about that we started from scratch only that scratch will make you to make better videos and improve yourself and teach more because once you are starting from scratch with just very simple like any kind of camera or very kind of laptop, very simple, maybe low performance, you will still learn how those things work, you can see what you can improve, what you can purchase. It's you who can feel if it's comfortable or not, if you need more performance or if you need better camera with wide lens, with different FPS with different color grading it's only up to you what you will choose but by that scratch you can find yourself in the future what you are going to do it's not like that all those fancy cameras and high performance laptops will make your videos like very amazing with so many views so many likes so many subscriptions it's not like how it is even with the most horrible camera and the, with the most horrible laptop we still believe we can all of us can make like very amazing videos it's still about that content what people want to listen or what interesting things we have to share to youtube that's you knew or i knew that i can make still videos with my old iphone up until now but i wanted to make it better easier as well for us it will be like better looking videos for me i will be like happier when those videos will look and sound better that's why we did that but still remember to be focused for those things about like you have to be consistent about youtube still learning the new things still improving the videos and also the youtube videos itself is not all about those equipments you have it's also about you about us as a humans how we talk how we act in front of the camera if we seems happy or if we seems mad it's all those things matters as well especially communication we are still trying our best as well to improve ourselves so for me this is one of the weakness that i ever have like talking in front of the camera so from the first day that i was in front of the camera i was really having a hard time myself but now i'm getting comfortable with it so it takes a lot of time as well to 
to make yourself improve not just the content itself but as well as our personality the person we are so right now i'm improving myself as well at the same time well the youtube is improving as well we are not extroverted people we are more likely silent especially when there are a group of friends so we are someone who's just silent and introverted so um, talking in front of the video was um, I would say it's also one of the most challenging for me and it's also one of the achievement I ever had because now I get comfortable talking in front of you guys but before I was really scared so much and Kuba as well <laughs> like me as well like I was very shy like talking in front of the camera and the amount of words and sentences I use in just one video sometimes <laughs> I don't even use and in one week me and Kuba are still learning as well at the same time learning how the YouTube works and at the same time learning how to communicate properly with our um, English skills oral skills but we know that it takes a lot of time dreams will never achieve in one day you have to work for it so that's what we are doing right now when is about those all inspirational people who are all around the internet yeah listen to her guys carefully yeah. that's what this all youtube is about and it's not only because of us or our equipment or any of those things it's also the huge part in this success, in this current success, is because of you guys. Because of you who are watching our videos, who are reacting to our videos, who subscribe to our videos. That was the first kick for us which made us realize that we want to make better and better videos every single week. Yeah, and even one viewer, we are more than happy. At least we have one person as well who are watching our video and now we have a lot of we have more people watching in our video and we are very happy as well knowing those things we are inspired every day to make videos that's correct and with those we want to thank to all of you guys for watching our videos remember it's also you who is making those videos better so if you like our videos our channel hit the like and subscribe button so you can expect much more better videos of us thank you guys for watching this video as well and see you in the next video let's hope finally from somewhere outside yeah thanks guys for support see you again next time bye bye